Dearly beloved, we're gathered here today for a special edition of Triangle Lesson. Today we're going to find out, will these links form a triangle? So, let's get crazy and find out, will these form a triangle? I'm back, people, I'm back. Here we go, are you ready? If you've got some graph paper, you might need to get that and cut out you some little strips like so. So cut you out some little strips so we're going to be using that and figure out if these things are form or triangle. So you might need some scissors and some graph paper. Some scissors and graph paper. If you want to grab those, you might want to pause it for a second and then we'll get back to it. All right. Here we go. All right, so today we're going to talk about will these form a triangle. The thing we're going to be talking about is this right here. It is called the triangle inequality theorem. That is the triangle inequality theorem. You see that? All right, triangle inequality theorem. All right, so here's the deal. So let's say you had a piece that was 12 centimeters long and a piece that was seven centimeters long and a piece that was three centimeters long all right so i've got my little pieces there 12 7 and 3. can i take the 12 7 and 3 okay and will that form a triangle so will those measurements form a triangle so i'm going to go from the least to greatest here so i've got a three centimeter piece a seven centimeter piece and a 12 centimeter piece. So I'm just going to swap them around like that. Put that, there, put that. All right, you can see them all right there. So do you think, all right, before I actually show you how it works out, do you think that the 3, 7, and 12 will actually form a triangle? It is going to be a yes or no answer, okay? A yes or no answer. So let's see. Let me straighten that out just a little bit. That's good. All right. So if I put the 12 down and I put the 7 here, and I lean it as far over. See, I'm just barely touching them in the corner right there, right? Barely touching them in the corner. All right, and I put the three over here, and I barely touch it in the corner. Do you think that I can ever put those together to form a triangle? Hmm. I keep leaning it down. All right. And I keep laying that down. Are they ever going to meet? Do you think? Can't hardly get that one to move. Being hard to get along with. All right, are they ever going to meet and form a triangle? No. You see, there's a gap right there. I can take my take my pen cap right there and lay it in there. Okay, in there, there's a gap right there. They are never going to meet. So the three, seven, and twelve. Okay, that is going to be a no. They will not form a triangle. All right, so let's try another one. Let's say instead of the three. I had a six there. Okay, so I'm gonna slide the three off. If I can get it off of there. Let's bring the six on here. All right, so this time we're gonna do six, seven, and 12. Six, seven, and 12. All right, so there they are. All right, so we got six centimeters, seven centimeters, 12 centimeters. All right, do you think those three links will form a triangle? So look at them right there. There they go, six, seven, and 12. So if I put the seven again down here on the end and barely touch it, and I put the six there and I barely touch it, can I lean them in to where they're actually gonna form a triangle where they just barely touch on the ends? And guess what? <gasps> you see right there in the middle? If I go right around there, does that form a triangle? And that one is a yes. Hmm. So the three, seven, and 12 was a no. The six, seven, and 12 was a yes. Let's try another one. Well, I'm going to slide those off totally. Set them up here. So this time we're going to do four, four, nine. Okay. Got the nine there. Got my two fours there. So I'm going four, four, nine. So there they are. Four, four, nine. All right. It's number three. So I got a four centimeter piece. And I got another four centimeter piece. And I got a nine centimeter piece. So before we put them together, you think about, hey, do you think those three links... Okay, do you think those three links are gonna form a triangle, yes or no? All right, let's put them together. So I've got my nine down here. <coughs> got my four, I'm gonna to barely touch there. I've got my other four. I'm gonna to barely touch it there. Okay, 
do you think that the 449 is ever going to touch and form a triangle? Let's keep on leaning her down. Barely touching. Barely touching. Hmm. You think that's ever going to meet and form a triangle? And the answer to that question is a no, it is not. All right. So let's try this one instead. Let's go instead of 449. Let's do 649 or 469. We'll do it that way. 469. All right. Let's try that. 469. Four centimeters, six centimeters, nine centimeters. All right. So you can look at those three pieces right there. I've got the four, six, and the nine. Do you think those three links will form a triangle? All right. So I've got my nine here. I'll take my six centimeter piece there. I'll take my four centimeter piece there. Do you think I'll be able to lean those together if I keep bringing them down? Can I make a triangle out of it? Hey, guess what? Look, that made a triangle right there. Had one of the, I got one of those glitches. I'm sorry, I, I caught that one on the screen. So, uh, again, you can see that the four, six, and nine right there, okay, those did form a triangle. Sorry about the glitch. So, does four, six, and nine form a triangle? Yes. All right, so now let's just talk about these for one second and see if we can find out uh, something that's going on between the no's and the yes's. All right, so on the no's, I've got three and seven and 12. That's a no and four, four, and nine, and that's a no. So that one is a no, and that one was a no. All right, so that one right there, and that one. Now my yeses are six and seven and 12, and four and six and nine. So there is a relationship there that we can call the triangle inequality theorem, all right? And before we get into what that actually is, all right, I want you to write it down there one more time. Triangle inequality theorem. Hopefully you see that there is a relationship going on between the smaller sides and the larger side. But I got a riddle for you before we get into that. All right, you ready? Here we go. Hello, friends. It's me. I'm back. It's Patty O'Malley and here's your riddle of the day. All right. So... Hey, you know, we're getting closer to the old St. Patrick's Day and the old other Irish is getting ready to roll around here before long. So here you go. Why can't you iron a four-leaf clover? If you're walking around out your yard and maybe you spot one down there and you pick it up, why can't you iron it? Okay? So if you know the answer to the riddle of the day, make sure you send it in. Why can't you iron a four-leaf clover? Hope you're doing all right. Don't forget when it gets to be March 17th now. Make sure you wear your green. Green for the luck of the Irish. All right, till next time. Ciao for now, baby. All right, so let's see. Let's take a look at these no ones, okay? If you got three and seven and 12, it's a no. And four and four and nine, it's a no. So here, those are. Why does it work or why does it not work? Well, if you take a look at the smaller sides, 3 plus 7 is 10, and 10, that's not 12, right? And 4 plus 4 is 8, and 8 is not 9. But 6 plus 7 is 13, and that's greater than 12. And 4 plus 6 is 10, and that's greater than 9. So the triangle inequality theorem is basically this, friends. All right, I can sum it up for you right here, okay? The sum... And that's the key word, the sum of the two smaller sides must be greater than, not equal to, okay, greater than, so there's the gold nugget, the sum of the two smaller sides must be greater than, you know that symbol right there, greater than. The longest side to make a triangle. Okay, 
So you've got a second to write that down. I'll read it to you a couple more times. All right, so the triangle inequality theorem says the sum of the two smaller sides must be greater than the longest side to actually form or make a triangle. All right, so I'm going to throw a couple other ones down here on you. All right, just to practice a couple real quick, and then we'll... Uh, we'll do three more. That ought to be good. All right, so I've got some little pieces here. I don't know if you can see them or not. I'll slide it up while you finish writing that out. So I've got a three. I got a four. And I got a six. All right. I don't know if y'all can see those or not. See, three, four, and six. All right, so if I had the three, four, and six, those are my pieces. Three, four, six. All right. All right here they are down here. My two smaller sides are the three and the four. How much is 3 plus 4? Okay, so I'm going to take these two right here, add them together. How much is 3 plus 4, right? Well, that's 7, right? If I add those up, is 7 greater than 6? And, of course, you would say yes, okay? So those pieces, if I put them together right, they should form a triangle, okay? So let's see if I can... I'll slide it right here real fast. I'll just slide this up. So is that the poor dear? And that's the three there. And if you keep leaning them over, of course, you can see that it's got that little triangle in there in the middle. Okay. So three, four, and six actually does make a triangle. All right. So let's take some other ones. Let's see. I've got seven, nine, and twelve. Seven, nine, twelve. All right. So I've got the seven here. I got the nine. I got the 12. All right, so there's my pieces there, 7, 9, 12. All right, so again, you take a look and you get the sum of the two smaller sides. So I need to take the sum of those two small ones, which would be those, 7 plus 9. How much is 7 plus 9? That is 16. It's 16 greater than 12. And you would say that is a yes. All right, so the sum of the two smaller sides has to be greater than, not equal to, not greater than or equal to, but greater than. So, if, of course, if I take those right there and I put those together, of course, you can put the 9 there and you can put the 7 there. And, of course, you can see how easy that's going to be to make a triangle. You just touch them in the corners, all right, like that. And you can see that that is definitely going to make a triangle in there, okay? All right, so let's go to this. 6, 4, and 12. All right, so if those were my pieces, so I've still got the 12 out there. There's a four, there's a six. All right, so I got six, four, and 12. So you can see those pieces there. Will six, four, and 12, will those three sides form a triangle? So we gotta again, take the two smaller ones, which would be the six and four. How much is six plus four? That is 10. Is 10 greater than 12? Okay, is 10 greater than 12? That is a no, so that is not going to work, right? All right, so here we go. Look at six and four right there. Even if I lean them down and lean them down, of course, they're never going to meet because there's going to be that gap in the middle, okay? Not going to make a triangle, so that's a no. All right, so hopefully this is not driving you crazy and you know how to work this stuff out, okay? So again, this is called the Triangle Inequality Theorem. The sum of the smaller sides must be greater than the longest side to make it form a triangle. Alright? So, today, I hope you've learned how you know if these will form a triangle or not. And if you got any questions, let me know. Until next time, ciao for now, baby!